This moment will affect you for the rest of your entire lives. Nothing you have ever experienced in the past will shock as much as this. <laughs> Yeehaw, everybody! <laughs> I haven't showed you my hat yet. I got from Nashville. Yeah, I'm crazy enough to buy a hat. And I rocked this hat for like two days. And it's no joke, this hat. This is legit. Shotgun shells. Had the leather jacket going along with it. Went to a hoedown. If you haven't been to Nashville, go to Nashville. It's like taking Las Vegas and shoving it into five blocks of the most fun you'll ever have. And you can wear jeans and t-shirts. You're not going broke. There's no gambling, so you don't have to lose your money. You don't have to pretend to be rich. You don't have to wear nice clothes. My kind of town. Because I love Vegas, but I will take Nashville over Vegas. And I can't believe I'm even saying that. But Nashville, five blocks of fun, great music, great people. The best time. Anyway, let's talk about trading. Every trade's working except for the diamond short today. Whoa, wouldn't you know? We lost money trading the short on a diamond stock. Uh, but the, the 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 market might be done going up to all time highs every month, like we had for the last eight years. But buying on dips certainly working. Now, do we want to own this sale going into the earnings report? What have we learned about owning stocks into earnings reports? It's kind of not worth it. For the one time where you get a stock that explodes that you're in on the report, you get Alibaba. We loved Alibaba, but we're not going to hold it into the earnings report. We got to buy it eight, eight points cheaper after they reversed to the downside, then we bought it. The Square, SQ, we love the Square, right? But we didn't hold it into the earnings report. And what happened? You got a chance to buy it a lot cheaper. Then you had Rig. We love the Rig, right? Going to 1350. Do you want to hold it into the earnings report? No, but you got to you got to buy it back cheaper after the after the earnings report. The Netflix of China, you want to own it into the earnings report? You just wasted your money. You don't need to own it. You buy it on the dip on the after the earnings come out. Now the stock's back to seventeen fifty. You want to own DDD going into the earnings report? You got crushed. Did you buy the DDD after the fact? Yeah, we did. Now the stock's back to eleven thirty five. Are you catching on? Now again, I'm not getting rich doing this stuff. Day trading. Little swing trading, little investing. Right now, everything's working. Um, now I appreciate you guys. I got a suddenly I go from having nobody reaching out to me to getting flooded with emails, and I appreciate the phone calls and the emails. Thanks a lot. I'm glad most of you guys are doing all right. Um, the the chat was blowing up. The only problem is right now is I like to talk to people before I let you in the room. And I'm still calling back people from 2012. So I'll get to you. I will get to you. Don't, don't fret. I'm going to have to hire somebody to call you guys. Because it, it's phenomenal stuff going on. I spend most of the day talking and trading. And then I'll take a break. And next thing you know, I'm a dad. And i got to be an Uber driver for my kids. And next thing you know, it's tomorrow. So I'll send you the emails with the, with the link. Come on in. If you have any questions, just ask them in the chat room. Uh, right now, everything's working, guys. Everything. Swing trading, day trading, investing. You could short, you go long the same stock in one day, like AAOI today, phenomenal. Bought it, shorted it. ACIA, bought it, shorted it. Uh, phenomenal stuff going on. You know, making a living, teaching people how to make a living, not blowing up accounts. Nobody's getting filthy rich. Friday was a day where we should have got rich, considering we had 88 trades in a row that worked, and I'm not even exaggerating. It was ridiculous. And then we got stocks like Rig, where Sure, I wish I was loaded up on this thing. I've been waiting for two years for this move, and, you know, I got it. It's nice that it's going up. I could pay some bills. I'm not selling it right now. I'm thinking the stock goes to 1350 That was our target. We've been in it for a while, been dollar cost averaging in it. Never broke down, never gave us a reason to dump the whole thing. Same thing with the Twitter, same thing with the U.S. Steel, same thing with the with the, the stock I that I own, letter I. I don't know what, I just found out what the company, I've owned the stock for about uh, about a month and a half had no idea what they do. Because I don't care. Everything for me starts as a technical trade. Why did I like PI, PI? Because it was coming out of the exhaustion situation formation, the PI. Do I still own it now? But I don't. But we had a little bit of it at, what was it, 9.85 and $12. And the stock went to 20 bucks. It's insane. Not 9.85, this was the, no, this was 12.50. 
Our cost average was around twelve fifty, and then we bought more when it broke uh, about fourteen and change. And we sold into that move. We didn't want to own too much of it going into the earnings report, but we held a hundred shares for a gamble. And next thing you know, the stock's at twenty bucks. I mean, I'm not in it anymore, but this is the kind of stock that I like. What one person's disaster is another person's glorious trade. That's what makes this market. That's what makes this market go round and round. People are hating on the AMD, giving up on the AMD. What's up with AMD now? Eleven ninety one. How you doing? People giving up on the DDD. Look at it now. So everything's working right now, guys. This is the best trading I've seen in ever. You know, Netflix of China back. IQ. I mean, everything. You give anything three days in this market, you could be completely different from where you were three days ago, and that's what's great about it. Because you don't have to sit here and sell a stock and then have it watch it go up for eight straight months without you after you get out. You're getting a chance to sell and you're having a stock that you could actually pull back and buy it again. That's what's better about this market than any other market I've seen in many, 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 many years. You're getting a chance to buy and sell the same stock, swing trade the same stock, hold the same stock, day trade the same stock, short that stock, buy that stock, all over the matter of weeks. And it's usually the same stocks. Pi, you know, AMD, US Steel, VRX even yesterday. VRX was an amazing buy. We were, weren't in it before the numbers, but exploded at the open. Next thing you know, I'm thinking maybe I should hang on to some. And next thing you know, it's rolling over and it's a short. That's what I love about this market. ACIA is the one we got right now. Um, AAOI bought more yesterday, but then the numbers were coming out. Sold it. Thank God I realized the numbers were coming out. Somebody said you might not want to own it because that's what you don't like. And I was like, you're right. Let's dump it. Next thing you know, save myself three points. Uh, ACIA. Stock is right there in the same genre of shitty stocks that are coming back to life. I'm in this thing right now. And we just bought more. And again, I'm just looking for this 3150 to hit. And probably sell most of that. And then they got the IQ. I said I wasn't going to buy it back until it broke out, but you know what? Yesterday or two days ago, it gave me a reversal and it was time to buy it back. And again, we're not talking about huge positions. Most of the time I'm starting with 100 or 200 shares just to remind myself that I like the stock. I'll throw 100 shares on as basically an alert. Maybe you buy one share, buy two shares. By the way, it's about to break 1750 IQ. I might be buying more here. But usually 12 at 12 in the afternoon, I'm not looking to add or do anything with my trades. But back to 1750, we here we are. Looking great. So anyway, email me for the link. It's kennyglick at awol.com. The thing will be at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the video. I'll get to you. We'll talk. You come and hang out. See what this is all about. Most people that have stayed are, are staying forever. And then this is the most baffling part, okay? I got 25 people emailed me over the last week and a half. Send them the link. Half of them show up. Maybe the other half will show up in the next couple of days. Sometimes people have delayed reactions or whatever. I know it's a, a lot of effort to press a button and then type in a password. And some people don't want to make that effort. That's why I was thinking for those real lazy people, I was going to do a live show on uh, YouTube and do YouTube live or whatever. We'll see if we do that. Because I do it live anyway in the chat room. All you got to do is press an extra button. But then there are the people that showed up yesterday. And maybe this is you I'm talking to. I only did two trades. We did the Zillow. First we were long. And then we were short. And then we were in the VRX trade. We were long. And then we were short. So in theory, four trades, two, two stocks. And each entry and exit was profitable. And then I saw two people disappear. And then I saw two more people disappear. And then two more people disappeared. What do you want? Exactly. I sat there describing why you want to buy the stock at this price, where it should go, where you should sell it. The trade worked live. We made money live. Then I said, here's where you want to sell it. Maybe go short right here. Look for it to pull back to this spot. And then that happened. And then people left. So I don't know exactly what people need. Do you want to learn how to make money on a daily basis? Or do you need like, well, you know, I was looking for a hundred different ideas. I needed to at least make 35 times my money in 20 minutes. And you didn't do that. So fuck you, Ken. I'm out. I don't know. 
I don't know what more I could do but show you how the trades work and have them work right before your very eyes. And again, I don't want to be a stock picker. I'm showing you the pattern that works. Because every once in a while, I'm going to get a Corey situation where I do nothing right for three or four weeks as far as my swing trades are concerned. And that's all you know. I suck. But again, if you own the Alibaba and the Square right now, you're killing it. Or if you're in the DDD or the ACIA, you're killing it. Or if you're in the rig, you're rocking and rolling. Or if you're in the pie from a couple of weeks ago, you're just loving, you're loving life. So it all depends on when you get involved. I don't want to be a stock picker. I can do it. But you might, we might hit one of them brick walls where I don't get anything right for three weeks. But remember, I'm paying for my swing trades with the day trading profits. So be a part of that. Be a part of what's going on. And be a part of witnessing guys that are doing the broadcast right now in my room that I've taught so well that they're doing the broadcast now. So be that guy where you know what's going on so well that you could tell other people about it and they tell two people about it and then some and then some. And next thing you know, we got a thousand people in there and then we form an army and you know where the story goes from there. And then, you know, again, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you'll get a pager and I'll send for you on a plane and we'll all hide out in a cave. All right. So, yes, the market's awesome. Everything's fantastic, and if you were making investment decisions based on whether we're getting in or out of some nuclear deal with Iran, you're a maniac. Who cares? Who cares about politics at this point? I was bent on that for a while. Nothing matters except, except fear, greed, algorithms, VWAP, and momentum. That's it. All right? See ya. But I thought you said the market never goes down. Where? Yeah.